Howdy partners, it's your boy John here, welcome to Park Baron 4 Williams, where last time we left off as the Empire of France. Uh, I, I actually uh, expanded overseas, we now have a territory in South's home, just off the coast of Africa. Today, I, I really need to turn my focus back up to Europe to try to deal with Italy. Um, so I'm going to try to... I really need to do something about this here pretty soon. Um, we need to break up NATO, though. That's something that we need to do in order for this to work out in our favor. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue. They have uh, 30, you know, between 30 to 67 troops. So, you know, expanding the military for us is going to be a good idea. We have 46 right now. We can call in the, um, the Swiss, the Irish, and the Croatians. How, much, how many troops do the Croatians have? They have zero at the moment. So I'm going to have to count on the Swiss and the Irish. How many troops do the Swiss have? 12. The Irish have 14. Um, hmm. Open this up real quick. I can't remember exactly where they were on here. Um, I think they were at the EU expansion in 2007. But if they get the EU expansion of 2013, we need them to go down the Union of Nations. Otherwise, we could be in a little bit of trouble as far as my, my plans for the series go. Uh, so we can't let them grab... Expansion of 2013. Um... What's the current date? 2008? Alright. Let's just let it roll for now. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with this when the time comes. I was really hoping that when the U.S. Well, the U.S. never did actually... Oh! What? Well, hold on a second. Communist Party USA is actually in charge of the U.S. Okay. That's not going to work out very well for you, but whatever. United Socialist States. Okay, so... That's new. But what was I saying? I was really hoping that the U.S. would not do what they ended up doing and creating a new faction. If they had just gone communist without going down to a new faction, we could have... I don't know. It's just made things difficult. That's all it's done. I mean, I guess something I could do to try to minimize the effect... Uh, that um, Italy would have if it did manage to go for the Continental Union. I could try to start targeting other countries. That's something I could do, isn't it? Uh, some of the other countries in Europe that are parts of the European Union, I could start targeting them. Not that way, knocking them out of the European Union. I have 24 troops there. How many, how many troops does Austria have? Let me take a look at this. 22. At this point in the game, everybody's going to have a decent-sized army, I think. 46. Hungary's definitely got a good one. Uh, oh, Hungary's in NATO, though, isn't it? I think they are. Slovakia's not too bad. Slovakia's not too bad. Um, who's in NATO that's... Not NATO who's close by. Don't need to worry about Germany. Is Sweden in? Since I started the series, they did add a bunch of new stuff for Sweden. So we're not seeing it here, but Sweden does now have a big, pretty diverse tree. I think the same goes for most of the Scandinavian countries, because I know Sweden does. I know Norway does. I'm pretty sure Denmark does. And I think Finland does as well. Um... Unfortunately, we, we can't see that here because I'm playing a few updates behind. 
Who's weaker? Equatorial Guyana is probably going to be the way to go about this. Need to get some more troops down here, though. Alright, we'll do that. Um, I think we're going to grab, maybe, a couple Marine regiments. Put them there. They're going to go down to Africa. We're going to have them launch an invasion from Sao Tome over into Equatorial Guyana. Oh, wait, there, there's their capital. I guess I could split the troops up, have some land there. I'm wondering where the majority of their troops are going to be. Let's do this. You're going to go from there to here. And the rest of you want to go from here. Oh, here to here. There we go. Might help if I actually get everybody selected. There we go. Four there. Two of you. And we're doing something different. No, that's fine. We'll do that. Do that for now. Japan abandons defensive principles. Uh, with the world growing more and more tense, the Japanese government has today declared that it would be ready to defend Japanese interests and its ideological persistence both at home and, importantly, abroad. This is a major uproar in Japanese foreign policy. What was Japan doing? I remember I was looking at something they were doing last time, but I can't remember what it was. They haven't really done much as far as... Oh, they've gotten all the way down here. So they could go Democratic State, they could go Popular State, or they could go Warrior State. Um, it would be kind of interesting to see them do this here, to be honest. So I'll give them a lot of options as far as expanding into Korea and China. We'll see what happens. Um, I, mean, I don't know... If I'm going to be playing this series long enough to actually end up getting all the way over into Asia. Because um, really, when I started the series off, I said I'd only be doing like a few episodes and moving on to something else. But it's ended up going a lot longer than I thought it would. That was not my intention, but that's it. <laughs> that's what has happened. Um, let me see something real quick. You know what? I'm noticing we have a lot of the same logo icons for these different armies. So let's do that. Okay. Well. How many troops does the Czech Republic have? They're in NATO. Never mind. I'm trying to find some people who aren't in NATO but are members of the EU. That way... If I attack them, maybe it'll be enough to kind of, sort of, decrease the impact that the, uh, the Italy will have when they go, um, if they go for the Union of Nations. Not the Union of Nations. The Continental Union. We want them to go for the Union of Nations, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Do something real quick. I think I want to go ahead. No, that's Germany. We don't want to do that. Get rid of that. I want to go ahead, set up some troops over on the border with Austria and Switzerland. Do that. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. 
push there. And then dig in. I think that's the way to go about this. Let's go ahead and justify war goal on Austria. Might make a new puppet. Don't exactly know for sure yet. Alright, let's do um, conquer on Tyrol. Whether or not I keep Tyrol, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to Switzerland. I really want to puppet Austria, to be honest. Yeah, I want, I want to grab more land, but really, the land I'm interested in is, like, Belgium. Uh, these lands here in Germany along the border on this side of the Rhine. Do I have a claim on that? No, I don't. So it's everything to the west of the Rhine that I basically have a claim on. But man, I don't think I have a claim on anything over here in... Netherlands, except for, of course, the piece here that's to the west or south of the Rhine. That is the Rhine, right? Pretty sure that's the Rhine. Okay. Um, what about Luxembourg? I have a claim on that? I do. But Luxembourg is still in NATO, right? Yes, they are. Alright. Let that roll. World tension is currently at 35%. I have been the one who has mostly been contributing to that. Surprisingly, Japan added a little bit to it. Apparently, when I justified that war goal in Croatia, that was the big one. 29.5%. Wow, okay. You know, maybe I'll keep Tyrol. We'll see what happens. But I just don't see that being that much of a feasible idea because... I mean, it's not attached to France. I could give it to Switzerland. Maybe I'll let Austria keep it and then just puppet Austria. I'm not sure what the best way to go about that is. You got everything down here, right? Yeah, I do. Let me keep grabbing some stuff over here in the military tree. Do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to let those guys go. And I'm going to send these three down to... I guess I'll send them down to Sao Tome. Just so I can start actually doing some more expansion in uh, into Africa. If I could take Equatorial Guyana, that would give us a great starting point. Uh, from there, I guess... What exactly does Gavin have? 14 troops. Um, hmm, Cameroon, not the way to go. I might have dragged my feet on this. I probably should have acted sooner. 52. Wow. Okay. Thirty-one. Twenty-four. Thirty-eight. I really want the Ivory Coast. I really do. Because, you know, historically that was a French colony, wasn't it? Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Uh, free dockyards. Let's... Go ahead. I guess I can port... Hmm. Do we really need anything else? I don't think we do. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get... Let's just do this. We'll do that. That's fine. As soon as I start it, we get an upgrade, so we'll do that. Uh, where am I going to put this one? Up here in Brittany. Okay. That's fine. Do I actually need anything right now? Motorized. I need some motorized equipment. Only need one. Alright. You know, I'm wondering why I wasted time doing this. Because I have all of these different technologies here that I've fallen behind in without realizing it. That's my bad. Let's select National Focus. Uh, what's the next one we want to grab? I 
I should probably actually start doing some stuff over here. Um, yeah, I've, I've gone enough down the army tree. I should probably focus now on the Air Force and the Navy. Let's go ahead and grab new bomber programs. We'll do that. What is Italy doing? Oh. Okay. Still working on that. Forced cultural union in Sicily. I think... So one more left. Yeah, EU expansion 2013. I don't think they can grab that just yet, so we'll see what happens. Oh, look at the little tiny Liechtenstein. I almost forgot all about you. Not gonna lie, I actually did. <laughs> Nobody's protecting them. Is that worth 280 days? Let's deal with Austria first. Let's deal with Austria first. You know, I think well, that makes sense because something was blocking me from actually forming a perfect like line going across here. I'm moving these troops up from uh, Spain, from the Spanish border. So I think there'll be more use up here for now. I'm going to try to deal with the Austrians. I have 23 troops. I should have more than enough to deal with them, to be honest. Oh, wait. Did I? Oops. <laughs> Alright, you guys get over here. We'll, we'll fix that later. Okay. We'll do that. I think everything is going okay. Let me see here. I did have on the same division. All right, these guys are going to go here. So why don't you come over here to Marseille, and I want to send you down to Sao Tome. They're on the way over there anyway, aren't they? There you go. All right. Five divisions landing in Equatorial Guyana. I'll leave some behind on Sao Tome. Um, and then those are going to go north to the island that the capital is on. The Equatorial Guyana has really weird borders. Oh, I mean, yeah, you, you got this part here. This kind of makes sense. But then up here separated from the rest of the country you have this little island which seems like it would be more likely to belong to Cameroon or maybe even Nigeria no it's just sitting out here all by itself is there anything going on in Africa at the moment I don't think I've seen anything in a while oh, hold on I do have some good relations with several countries Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, and Gabon. Why is that? Because I have access, and I'm guaranteeing them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Same thing with the Ivory Coast. Okay. Well, I'll jump off screen. I think that the justification for war with Austria is going to be ready in November, I think. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Let me see here. If they do that, they'll leave NATO. Unless they're declined. Oh, that actually doesn't help us at all, does it? So if they are accepted, then we'd have to worry about them being helped by China. Um... But, I mean, China's on the other side of the world, so we might be able to deal with the Italians before the Chinese arrive. That would still be a bit of an issue, wouldn't it? Hmm. Let's see what happens. How much longer do we have to go? I think we got like a month left on Austria. Uh, November 20th. Okay, we still got a little bit. About a month left, yeah. Okay, how much longer does it have to go? They're about to finish that one. 
I'm gonna, I just came back because I'm more curious than anything to see what happens. One day left. Um, how did that work out? I don't think they were accepted, were they? Oh, they were. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, they even have have even more troops now. If I piled everyone onto the borders with Italy, we might be able to do this. But I'm going to need to deal with the Austrians first. We're going to take care of the Austrians. When we declare on Italy, I want to call in everyone. So I'm going to need the Croatians. I'm going to need the Swiss. I need, I'm going to need the Irish. Everybody's going to be have to be on their top game in order for this to work. But I think we have a chance now, maybe? Uh, okay. Um, have those troops away from France and Africa and these colonial possessions they're trying to build might not be a good idea at the moment. Um, might need to actually bring them back home. I'm going to do... Get a couple more troops in production here. Do that. What all do we need? Light mechanized. I'll get rid of that one. That's fine. We're good on weapons, so we'll do that. Uh, light mechanized. I need 259, so let's do this. Still have a few left. What else do we need? Light tanks. Okay, there we go. Need to get that one done. What all do I need? Any of our neighbors have it? Okay. I, I, I know it's weird, but I'm still trying to be friendly with... Germany, even though they're filthy communists. Oh, there's a possibility that may change. We'll see what happens. Right, let that go. About, um... 20 days left? Something like that? Oh! oh, oh. Look at that. NATO has gotten even smaller. Portugal's gone. Turkey's gone. The only members left are Spain, Hungary, and Poland. And the British have gone and formed their own alliance. Who's in it? Canada's not. Nigeria is. So is Kenya and... Uganda? Uganda? Um... Okay. There's some beaks in it. Look at it this way. Papua New Guinea is... So, things have changed. Things have changed. This could mean... Okay, who all has left the NATO? Afghanistan, Hungary, Iceland, Luxembourg, Norway, Poland. It might be the best time now to start claiming these territories that I managed to get a claim on early in the game. So soon, I'm going to have to do something with Belgium. The Netherlands are no longer in it. Things have taken a chain turn here for the better, possibly. <laughs> All right, let's deal with Austria. I'm going to work on Italy. And I really want to grab Belgium. I really want to grab Belgium. I really do. But I think... Continuing to build up the army is going to be a good idea here. So we're going to do that as well. We've got ten days left. Two days left. Who's ready for some poor life decisions? <laughs> okay. We're going to declare on... Oops. Declare on Austria. I want to call in the Irish and the Swiss.
Ancient Empire goes to war. Which means... Oh, wait, hold on. Did I not call in my allies? Oh. I have to wait. Okay. Did, um, still need to, there we go, okay, call in everybody, All right, Kingdom of Ireland and Croatia, okay, how are you feeling about this, push there, I'm liking the looks of this, to be honest. Strong early push. And everything seems to be going our way for the moment. So let's go ahead. I want to activate that and that. There we go. They're concentrating a big portion of their troops right behind us here. So we cut them off. Just keep pushing. Should be able to starve them out. Uh, war resorts are important, that's fine. Unless, do, do they have... Let me look here. No, they, they don't have um, permission across Germany to get back to the rest of the country. So we've got those guys there being starved out. The rest of the troops are going to be coming behind us shortly. Modern industry is completed. What's next? Let's grab military industry. We'll do that. Okay. Losses 6,300. Wait, what? Okay, no, okay, I see. 69,100. Uh, Alright, we'll just say 70,000 Austrian losses. 6,000 losses of the uh, Alliance of Kings. I think that's what I want to call the Alliance when we get the chance to found it. <laughs> Dumb name, but that's what we're going with. Okay. How much further... How, how long should I go this time? Should I, I have a feeling I might be able to push all the way to, uh, to Vienna if I really try hard this episode. But the question is, do I want to do that... Or do I just want to push about Salzburg and call out the episode? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's some Italian and British volunteers, it looks like. Yeah, they're getting some British and Italian volunteers. Do we have any Irish? I, think we, I know the Swiss are kind of hanging back. The Swiss are kind of hanging back. Let's pull these guys up to the front. Those Italians and British are trying to fill the gaps that the retreating Austrians are leaving. Do that actually. Can I just push right on to Vienna? Can I just push through like this? Might be overextending myself, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to cut off those troops to the south of Salzburg. Let's see if that actually works out in our favor. Make a risky move here. Push on to Vienna. That's just probably a very bad idea, but we're doing it.
If I can clear these guys out here, that'll free up these troops. Right, let, let's get rid of that motorized division there. Before they end up cutting us off. I wanted to be very bold and just rush for Vienna. But I think if I had done that, we would have gotten cut off and taken some unnecessary losses. So it's turned out to be a little slower than what I would like. But I think playing safe like this... Playing safe like this is the better option, I think. Let's get rid of those Italians. And then we can loop around to Vienna. There we go. And after that, I should probably turn back around and, and... I mean, Liechtenstein is really... Well, what are they going to do? I think they only have one division, right? Yeah, one division. So they're not that much of a threat anyway. Let me take, take a look at what the Italians are doing here. What, what are you up to? Anything new? Army of, of Quantity. I just have to keep checking in on them occasionally to make sure they're not doing anything as far as the EU goes. Come down like this. Let's try to cut off the rest of those troops that are retreating. of those British there. I think I could just move right on to Vienna, can't I? Alright. Just some mop-up work left to do. There we go. Alright. Um, I'm tempted to give Tyrell to the Swiss. Oh, it doesn't look like they did anything. You know what? No. No, no. We're just going to puppet. We're going to puppet uh, Austria. I think that's good. I mean, I don't see any point in keeping any of this for myself, because it's away from France itself. Plus, I'm only really interested in grabbing the territory that I have claims on. So, like I said, all of this here. So, let's just puppet Austria. Yes. Okay. All right, what do we got? We have French Imperial Austria under Carl II. Okay. Is, it, is that, that the Habsburgs? No, I know. The Habsburgs died... Hmm, they died out before World War I, didn't they? So it's not a descendant of the Habsburgs. I'm going to have to go Google this. All right. Going to do some homework between this episode and next time. Anyway, partners, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. I much appreciate it. really helps me out. A lot of interesting stuff happened this time, and I'm happy with how it turned out. But uh, thank you guys so much again. Oh, don't forget, if you're interested in donating to One Warm Coat, give a coat to somebody in need. The link to the donation site is down in the description below, and I will see you, partners, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.